This is Kai from New Electronic Frontier. And in today's video, I'm going to extend what I explained about TD3 and the filter in a little bit because the viewer Thurfy Tash actually commented a nice long comment and um, he put in some links to a video where a guy explains the Crave together with the TD3. In one section, he says that the LFO of the Crave goes into the filter in of the, the TD3 and uh, makes a filter modulation. And I wanted to check this out and show you guys what you can do with this. So up front, I'm not a total expert in uh, FM synthesis. I'm coming more from the field of, you know, subtractive synthesis, but I've done some reading on this. And actually I must say, this is not for me, it seems it's not a filter modulation because the filter in is built as an audio input. So it is supposed to take audio an audio signal in and process this through the filter. So there's actually no voltage control for the filter to control either the cutoff or the resonance, right? Which you would have in a like modular system or in semi-modular setup. So you do not really um, modulate the filter, but what you actually do is you create an FM sound because you have the underlying um, oscillator of the TD3 and then you put the LFO signal on top which modulates then the uh, original VCO sound and um, this is actually um, yeah the basis for FM synthesis which is quite interesting. So I will show you uh, sonic examples. Um, I've put them um, for the setup. I've put in peaks as an LFO because I can, you know, control the rate of the LFO for sure. But also I can uh, just twist between uh, different waveforms, uh, which makes different um, sounds on this. Also, I use an expert sleepers ES8 to track all this to the scope, so you can pretty clearly see how the frequencies go and how they mix together. And uh, also to just grab the signal, I had need to split cables here. And um, on the scope, you see the yellow line, which is the output here from the TD3. Um, the whole output, I cannot actually grab the only VCO um, output because there's simply no jack for it. So I have to grab the whole output, so processed with the uh, signal from the filter in. But on the bottom, you see the green line, which is actually um, the frequency of the LFO itself. So you can see how the stuff blends together. OK, so now let's start. So without anything plugged in, I've chosen this uh, simple pattern, which is pretty um, yeah, easy and straightforward because it gives a good idea of um, how this all tunes in. So you can see with the scope, right? You can see here, so how it is. And now we put in the LFO. So now let's turn the knob and see where this goes. And as you can hear, it doesn't actually change the sound itself much. So uh, no modulation of the frequencies in the filter. So no more cut off or resonance, but it actually um, amplifies or de-amplifies the signal of, um, of the original VCO. You see here, it's it's kind of hard to control actually here to get a good sound out of it. It's interesting at least. And here you really see how the frequencies start to mix up. And here we go actually into the FM area where the signal of the FFO, uh, LFO starts to actually overlay the original signal of the VCO much. And here we go into the area where the sound becomes quite interesting.
as you can see here. So this is how it goes with a, with a sine wave. And now you can see you have just actually the gate trigger and the waveforms look pretty much the same, right? Because the LFO overlays the original signal pretty much here. So it's really interesting. So dial back, original signal. So now let's change the waveform. So we came from a, from a sine wave. Now let's see what happens if we tune in. So and let's move on. So now we have a pulse wave, so at the end some kind of random <laughs> and this is co completely destroyed the signal I'm coming back to the LFO Okay, so that's it for about now. So as you can see, you can uh, you can actually create an uh, FM sound with the TD3. Um, playing around with this for like, let's say before the video for an hour, just trying out sounds and, 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 and how it goes. Um, I must say, um, it's, it's kind of hard to control to tune in uh, the right sounds, but um, I, I guess if you, uh, if you really research a little bit and try out what you like and also mix in a little bit of distortion, play around with the, for the filter itself, etc., um, there is actually some nice sounds in it, um, which you can use, um, I think. So I will try to use this on, on, on some, some tracks. So um, yeah, but it's, it's a pretty, um, pretty fun thing to do, to try out. And um, as you say, go for it. And if you have any other suggestions, any other ideas, or if I'm totally mistaken about FM synthesis here, just let me know in the comments. I'm happy to, uh, to, to discuss with you here uh, what, what else you can do with this little nice box. So thank you very much for today. That was Kai from New Electronic Frontier. If you like this video, just uh, you know, like it, follow, uh, support me on Patreon. Um, and watch the other videos, have fun and comment and let me know what else you want to see. Bye-bye.